continuity for the royal family at Balmoral. This is BBC News with the latest headlines. Crowds gather at Buckingham Palace and the Mall after Charles III is formally proclaimed King. The King swore an oath and paid tribute to the late Queen at his accession ceremony at St James's Palace televised for the very first time. God save the King! God save the King! The King announces a bank holiday across the UK for the day of the Queen's funeral. Members of the royal family depart Balmoral for a church service in nearby Crathy Castle. Charles III has been proclaimed king in a ceremony at St James's Palace in front of hundreds of members of the Privy Council in a traditional ceremony but one which was televised for the first time. The new Lord President, the Conservative MP Penny Mordaunt, confirmed the death of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II before the new monarch swore an oath. At his proclamation ceremony held earlier at St James's Palace, King Charles paid tribute to his late mother saying her reign had been unequalled in dedication, duration and devotion. He vowed to follow her example and seek peace, harmony and the prosperity of all the nations where he is now head of state. He also confirmed that the day of the Queen's funeral will be a bank holiday across the country. Our royal correspondent, Nicholas Witchell, has been watching today's events.